Hello everyone, in today's video I will show you how to get this auto focusing depth of field effect in Unreal Engine 5. This will also work in Unreal Engine 4. So when we don't look at this wall right next to us, it is blurry. When we look at it, it will be in focus and the background will be blurry. So let's jump right into the video. So what we want to do first is to go into the first person folder, blueprints, BP first person character, then go into the event graph and find a empty spot. Now right click and search for add custom event and call it auto dof for depth of field. Now click enter. Now we can get the line trace by channel just like that. Now we want to drag out the first person camera and then drag out of there and get world location then the return value will go into the start of the line trace and then drag down from the return value and get the add now we want to drag out of the b and multiply and now we want to drag out of the first person camera and we want to get forward vector and the return value will go right into the A value. Now if you're in Unreal Engine 5, it will look like this. So right click, convert pin to float single precision. So now it's like the old uh, Unreal Engine 4. Once you've done that, you want to take this and set the value to 10,000, just like that. So this value right here is how far the line trace will shoot out. Now drag out of the add into the end. Now we want to get the branch, so branch. And the condition will be the return value of the line trace by channel. Like that. And out hit, we want to get break hit result. Now we can see what we want to do when the line trace hits something. So now drag out of the location and subtract. And then we want to get the first person camera again, so just drag that out. And we want to get world location. And the return value we going to go into the B value right there. Now we want to drag out here and get vector length. Now we want to create a variable, so you can right click on the return value right here and promote to variable. And we can call it focus location now the true value of the branch will go right into the focus location just like that now we want to drag out the first person camera again so drag that out and then we want to set post process settings just like that and plug that into the post process settings now Drag out of the post process settings right here and make post process settings. Then click on here and we want to search for depth. So depth right here and we want to tick on aperture f-stop and maximum aperture f-stop. Just like that. Now we also want to tick on the focal distance. Just like that. Now we want to drag out the focus location, that's the variable we just made earlier. Now we drag that out, get, and that will go right into the focus distance. And the maximum aperture min f-stop will be 11, and the aperture f-stop will be set to 1. Now this whole code is done. so. Highlight everything, click on C, and we can name it Auto DOF, just like that. Now we're not done yet. We want to get the event tick. So right click, event tick. Now I already have the event tick. So if you also have the event tick, you can drag out of the execution pin and get the sequence, just like that. And then just drag out of then one right here. So 
drag out of den one and set timer by function name just like that and we called our event out of DOF so just copy this name and then type it in for the function name so just like that and the time will be 0.2 so it will check every 0.2 seconds if the line trace hit anything and if it should uh, do the update uh, depth of field effect so we also want to tick looping so it does this every time so it loops now everything should be done so compile and save and let's test it out so let's test it out and it doesn't work okay i know uh, i just figured out the problem it was because we had the event stick and we don't want the event stick we want the event begin play i'm sorry for that but let's uh, fix that very quick and easy so let's just uh, pull down alt and click on this line right here just like that and we can delete the sequence because i won't need it and then just drag that into there now we want to get the event begin play and i already have it so once again sequence and from the then one we want to drag that in to the set timer by function name so it should look something like this so now we can test out so we will run up to this wall and look at this and you can see that it works so when we don't look at this wall right next to us it is blurry when we look at it it will be in focus and the background will be blurry so yeah that's the tutorial i hope you liked it and uh, leave a comment if you uh, want to see any more tutorials and uh, yeah that's it bye